I had suggested a few bands to Anthony, and he took my word for everything and said, "Yeah, you know, you're probably right. Those are some good choices." So, did I? The Mongolites are a good choice. <laughs> they're good. You might. Have I, I like the Mongolites. I saw them at uh, oh, Mongolites. Yeah. Mongolites was actually a, really a Starland su suggestion. Really? They they're try to, they suggest them every time we play, and I'm like, no, because I, I think like Mongolites. I think it's like a new metal band. Not then I actually listened to shit and was like, I was like, oh, these guys are good. Yeah. Yeah. So they're good. Yeah. What is a mongoloid? And they're from my hometown. You know? What is a mongoloid? Razor blade hand grenade. What is a mongoloid? They're, 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 they're from Elizabeth, New York area. Cool and new and young. We fresh. Didn't want, fresh. We didn't want to play fucking show with a bunch of old <laughs> shitty bands every time. So we wanted to get some new bands. So Case of Strain is good. They're young. They also they play metal, but they also wear streetwear clothes. So I figured it's a good match. Um, <laughs> Ill Bill is a rapper, so I thought that might be cool to have a rapper. Rain Supreme is also a hardcore band, but they're like one of those hardcore bands that wear dunks and fitted hats, so I thought that might be a good fit. And, uh, That's interesting. Man. It's good, you know? Yeah, hey, you try like, to work it out. You know? choices. Man. felt like it was a good bill. <laughs> we want the new. blackest white dudes we can find. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bill full of white dudes. That's what we want. No, we, want we need weird. Joe Nunn here for that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yo, Yo nigga, I'm Joe Nunn. Very good what? question, though. <laughs> Acting like we're a band for a night or two. <laughs> you go. Know. I like that. Last year was two nights, this year was one night. You know. right, exactly. We'll always be a band, no matter how long. Right? You can take this 50 years from now. We'll still be able, we'll still be able to do this shit the same way and all smile and laugh while we're doing it. Makes me cry. You know, actually, I agree with you. I agree with Anthony on that one. It's true. Because like, I've been around you since you got started. Actually, I've been on the scene longer than you got started. So it's like, you know, seeing you guys, I'm like, wow. Like, you're still doing it and you're actually able to make a show out of it. So like, do you fly from Vegas to here for it? It's just not. And last year, San Diego. It's not some hall show with like 15 people and like they might show up. And, like, yeah, they just, might show let's up. Let's just do it because we like playing. It's like we know we can do it, and <coughs> we're proud of that shit. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm proud to call you. That's, that's a good answer. answer right? After all these right. years. Good answers, like good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Survey says. Survey says. <laughs> ding 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 ding. I would say Fury before that would be all good, man. Torment was the metal band in this one. That actually played. Oh, I remember Torment. What a great Baker. Freaking Kevin. Yeah. The dude that was the long hair blonde kid. Reed Baker. Reed Baker and Gavin. Gavin? Gavin. Yeah, it was Gavin. That was more your shit. Yeah, yeah. Tito played bass. Yeah. Was it Tito or Tito? Yeah. Tito. Oh, shit. All right. Tito's last name. Tito played bass. No, 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 no. No, not for Torment. Not Torment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the phone. Tito, I Tito Worldwide. I was thinking. Yeah, that's what like, I was Tito thinking. Tito Worldwide. Yeah, I remember that nigga too. But Fat Jerry and Tony. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fat Jerry. Uh, He's supposed to be here tonight. Dudes. Love those dudes. Shout out to Fat Jerry yeah. and Tony. Yeah. And Tito. Definitely. There's a difference. There's nowhere to play. But I think what the hardcore scene definitely provided yeah. was the ability to play shows. Like, you're in a band, and the scene was there, you know what I mean? And if you, if, if you made that connection, you always had a good show to play. And that that is something I think we're very appreciative about, especially in our growth, right? In our development. We like were at hardcore scene. kids. We were out. I, I didn't know the first, yeah. first hardcore show I went to was six months after being in a band. Yeah. Whoa. As. So I say overall, in terms of that, that's probably the biggest thing for a band to get past is playing shows consistently. You know, that gave us the opportunity to play shows overall. Right. Yeah. But I don't know the difference. I don't know if there is. See, there, there is a difference. I mean, being on the scene since 89, like going to New York and Jersey shows is a huge fucking difference. I mean, like, I know a lot of New York heads, a lot, a lot of New York heads and a lot of Jersey heads. Like, I'm a part of both families, but it's like, here it's like totally different than New York. Like it's a better scene to me, but it's less shows and everything like that. You know, it's hard to play. And for them to like for what they've done with the hardcore scene, it's changed a lot. Sean, you should give this. You got better answers than we do. Truth. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Oh, I so definitely New York has more clubs to play. You know, that, no, I will give it that. New York does have a lot more clubs to play and a lot more bands. And like, like New York shows are great. Don't get me wrong. I love New York shows. But Jersey's where it's at. It's it. Like every Jersey band I've known for the last 15 to 18 years, fuck, either they've come up 
or they they've gone nowhere. Which that's a good point that it, there's a uniqueness to a Jersey. Band. There, there really is. Right. Yeah. Like, like, it's like every, we're like the little brother. In right. Jersey, we gotta fight for. Fight but we gotta fight for everything we have, and we all have fought for everything we have. Like, you have, I have, we all have. You know, like we've all come from the gutter and, and straight pulled ourselves out of it by ourselves to be become unique in Jersey as one. And there's a lot of shit. A lot of people talk a lot of shit about a lot of the bands in Jersey, but fucks. We've all made it. I'm not even in a band. I've known every band in Jersey for the last 15, 18 fucking years. I helped these guys come up. I helped every band. But people still talk shit on us. Who? Who? Come on. Not here. That's why we fucking play here. Fuck exactly. Fuck. <laughs> fuck it. I actually listen because my, my cars basically where I spend most of my time. It's the only CD I have right now. I'm sick of it all. Scratch the surface. Oh, that's why, you're, that's why you're just playing in that practice yeah. the other day. I was, like, I was like, Teddy's pulling up some sick of it all. I mean, it's good, it's good shit. Hey. No, Just Look Around is the best sick of it all CD ever. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Scratch just the look surface and just look around. I like Death Magnetic. The first two. All right. I, I, I like Death Magnetic. Oh, like you like that? Death Magnetic is fucking awesome. Ooh, it's I don't awesome. know, bro. After, no. Je after Justice, it was downhill no, for them. Dude, every, I had it for a little while. It was horrible. It's like rehashed but it's good. Justice it's riffs. Good. It's good shit. Exactly. See, good I agree with Asma. Right. 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 They're my favorite band ever. Like, what? It's, it's, it's more fun now than when we were probably touring because I think we're more appreciative of the fact that we have this than if we didn't. Because we were playing shows and okay, we're back in Jersey. We're gonna have a really good show now, but now it's like, guys, we're like working on teaching, and finally, uh, let's go fucking play. You know, we have the ability to do that, so more appreciative, happy about it. Yeah. We eliminated all those North Bullshit. Carolina shows, and yeah, Milwaukee shows. St. Louis. <laughs> it's like we used to tour for a year and come to New Jersey anyway. Like, okay. so it's like now we've eliminated all the middle shows. Just play the Jersey. Show. Say the good one. No, he's coughing. He's choking. <laughs> I'm choking. You got a cough during the interview? Yeah. You're fucking dying, Omo. <laughs> Do you need the Heimlich? No. <laughs> Are you choking? No, no he's going to throw up in a minute. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Breast smoke will help. I'm not going to smoke. I love moms. Yeah. Thank you guys for supporting us. And caring still. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, I was watching. Uh, I was watching the Metallica behind the music remastered on VH1. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, I saw that. Death magnetic. James Enfield gives a line. He goes, "We are four young lucky dudes. This could be you." And that's kind of how I feel. Oh. We're like a we're like a mini Metallica. <laughs> we're like we're like the Metallica of Sayerville. <laughs> and eat town. My darkest, I will just see that I can make it. I find the strength within the know that I can.